Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard underneath the canopy on this beautiful day where we're going to make an old-fashioned recipe that used to be a favorite a long time ago and still is with me. Now, some people love it, some people like it, some people hate it, and I'm going to be making liver beef liver and onions now the sad part is why it has fallen out of favor with a lot of people is because parents have allowed their children to make them short order cooks and cook only what they like well sorry that don't happen here you eat what you put before you is the way i was taught and I loved liver and onions as a child, and I still do to this day. So, we're going to do the prep work first and get ready to do the cooking. Now, the side dish for the liver and onions and gravy today is going to be steamed buttered broccoli. And I have that already cut up in the pan waiting to go. So, let's turn the camera down here. I have, oh probably about three cups of all-purpose flour right here this is going to be not only the breading for the liver but it's also going to be what I make the gravy with as well here I have a little over a tablespoon of garlic powder a half a tablespoon of onion powder about a teaspoon of salt and about a half a teaspoon of good black pepper you want to make sure that you mix everything up very well and since this is an old-fashioned recipe we're going to be using a fork I decided to leave the whisk alone for this recipe and we're going to move that aside now what I do first is I like to build flavors so I'm on I've got I was going to have two medium onions I like at least a large sliced onion my second medium onion was bad in the middle but the outside was good so we're going to just thinly slice the onion up and we're going to saute them first in butter but I absolutely love liver and onions my favorite is chicken livers I love turkey livers I'm not real big on pork liver, but I will eat it. it especially beef and chicken, or well, chickens are number one. They're both high in iron, and if you're anemic, it's a fast, easy, healthy way to get your iron level built back up. And all the critters are coming out today, flies and mosquitoes, and two-legged ones. Okay, I got the onion sliced. I'm going to grab the butter, and I'm going to take you all over to the cook stove. See you here in a bit. Okay, we have the butter starting to melt in your saucepan. I'm not going to make a whole lot of gravy, so I'm using one of my smaller ones. I'm going to break your onions up because you want them to be individual in the gravy. Here comes the school bus. It might get loud.
And I want to season my onions with a little pepper. The salt is in the butter, so I don't need to add salt. I'm going to go and get my broccoli started. I wish they had smell of vision. This smells amazing. Nothing like cooking outside, too. Yes, you have to fight the flies and the bugs, but it's wonderful. I'm going to let these continue to cook down, and I will bring you back when they get close to being done. Okay, my onions are starting to get a little color on them. I don't want them to get crunchy or crispy, so I'm going to cut the frame off, let them saute just a little bit more, and I'm going to get a plate to put them on. No lives matter. No lives matter. Be glad when I can get away from all these felons. Convicts. And you want to try to keep as much as your butter in the skillet as possible, but it's okay because. Whatever juice ends up being in the plate will go back into the pan after I make the gravy. Okay, I'm going to pause it, get the liver washed, and bring you right back. Here is the beautiful pack of beef liver that I got yesterday and all day for yesterday for less than four dollars is that not beautiful all right we're going to put just a little bit more oil and like i said i'm building flavor and also enough to make gravy after all and yes oil and i'm using corn oil And you want your flame about medium, and I forgot to mention the butter for the onions was about a half a stick of sliced butter.
And this is why you season your flour, not only for the gravy, but also the liver. You want to make sure that you build up flavor. You want to make sure your liver is real good and coated. Right. I'm going to in spider now. Broccoli is steaming away beautifully. But besides chicken liver, I have two favorite livers above all else. Deer liver and chicken liver. Those are my two favorites. I'm my best to keep the mess down. Now as your liver cooks, of course, it's going to shrink up. I'm going to give it time to get a pretty, pretty brown. Other, on the other side. Because you want to make sure that your liver gets completely cooked on that one side. Isn't that beautiful crust? That's what you're looking for. You want to keep an eye on your flame. If you need to, cut it down. Because you don't want the oil getting too hot. Because if you burn anything, you're not going to get a crust or a, be able to make a gravy. Alright, I'm going to pause it and I'll bring you back as soon as it's done. Okay, I have flipped it on both sides. It is done. I'm going to remove it. You want to make sure that they're fully cooked. And any pieces of breading comes off, make sure you get that out of your pan because it will burn. Now I'll bring you back once I'm done finish frying the second batch. Okay, this batch is done. You don't want to cook it until it's dry. You want to cook it till it's done. And I also forgot to say on a medium low or low. You don't want to cook it real fast. You want to cook it nice and slow. I'm going to add just a tad bit more oil. Now comes the fun part. Making the roof.
You will keep an eye on it. Any little burnt parts, which is breading, you just chunk out. Another good part about cooking outside. This time I was asked by Junior to use milk for the gravy. I usually use water. Now as I when I was a child, this and don't worry, you'll work them lumps out. As a child, this was always served with cream potatoes. Of course, it being milk, gonna make the gravy look lighter. And the milk being cold, it's gonna take a little longer for the gravy to come together. You can also feel with your fork that any drippings from the pan that started to stick will incorporate into the gravy and be wonderful. All your layers of flavor come together. I have my flame on low, so it's going to take a while for it to come together, which is fine with me. Gives you time to work those lumps. Some of those lumps aren't going to break up because it's the breading from the liver. starting to thicken up nicely and I wish y'all could smell it and I'll add salt at the table to my plate Oh, it's thickening up now. I'm going to add the onions to it. You want to make sure you get all of that flavor into that pan. Oh, 
Oh my gracious, it smells so good. It smells my, like my childhood. And the steamed broccoli is done. You want to get that liver in there. Get it covered. And that gravy. Me being southern, of course, I'm gonna eat mine over bread. You gotta be careful too, your breading will come off if you're not careful. I'm going to cut my heat off. Let me get my lid. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And then I'll bring you back when it's time to eat. See you here in a bit. Okay, we have dinner here. Beautiful plate of steamed buttered broccoli. And homemade liver and onions. And like I said, I like mine on bread. It's a southern thing. cuts very easily just like it's supposed to it's not supposed to be dry or hard mm. taste absolutely amazing reminds me of my childhood simple easy homemade old-fashioned recipe that has fell out of graces with a lot of people because people have been allowed to be picky. People have been allowed or kids have been allowed to make their parents short order cooks. Easy way for anemics to get the iron that you need. Simple, easy, wonderful homemade dinner. I'm fixing to enjoy this dinner and get to the um, Herb Society meeting tonight. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will answer them as soon as possible. Everyone, take care, stay safe and sound. Remember, the recipes of our ancestors, they kept them alive. And this is a good homemade dinner. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Stock those pantries up, folks. It's going to be bad before much longer. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. Everyone take care.